you have to get up pretty early to get the first cup here. Not downtown, but on historic Commercial Street. An overlooked area for some was a jewel to one man. My daughter's college basketball team was taking on the dynamic jury Lady Panthers, and I came down really to see the game and literally discovered the Commercial Street Historic District. Chicago native Lyle Foster was interested in refurbishing loft apartments, so he acquired a building and then he had an epiphany. And I believe in this notion of the third place, which is everybody has a job, a home, and then a third place that they hang out at, and that should be a coffee shop. And Big Mama's was born. It's a very good thing, finally. I come down here in the morning, I get to see Ugly Joe, <laughs> flip over, show Ugly Joe there. <laughs> now that's just not nice. Well, but it's true. <laughs> I come down in the morning, I see Ugly Joe, I get my coffee, you know, that's, it's, it's just, it's part of the ritual. Do you come in here a lot? Every day. <laughs> you never know who you'll run into at Big Mama's. Students, business types, writers and professors, even kids. And you never know what you'll see there either. From rotating art displays. This month we're featuring art by an African artist. To live theater. Foster even doubles as a playwright. You wrote the play? Yeah, the, we're doing Heroes, and that's really in honor of Black History Month, which is something I'm very, very passionate about. And on Tuesdays, Jazz Night. From high school and college students to professionals, if you can play, you've got an audience at Big Mama's. As a child, Dr. Elders worked in the fields. Mama's Back Porch recently hosted a documentary preview about former Surgeon General Dr. Joycelyn Elders. Oh, and Joe the barista and baker? I'm a musician. I've been playing in a band around here for a really long time called The Skeletons. He can do more than just master a mean mocha latte. I played on a Grammy award winning record. In 2000, I played all the keyboards on, a, on a, our album with Dave Alvin that won a Grammy, yeah. And remember Lyle Foster's love for lofts? Look at this. Well, he's got a bed and breakfast right upstairs. Oh, it's nice and comfortable. You feel welcome as soon as you walk in the door. So you never know what you'll find at Big Mama's. But one thing's for sure, open seven days a week, you'll rarely find her closed. Coffee shop is an anchor. This is what we've been missing for 10 years. Mama's house never closes. Could you imagine going to your mother's house and she said, we're closed today? So the only thing Big Mama ever does, she goes to sleep at night. So our sign says Big Mama's awake or asleep, but she's here every day for business because you can always go to your mama's house, your grandmother's house.